Hi, day 385. I just wanted to get back to you um, before the weekend starts. Uh, weekends get quite busy with the fam family and, you know, next thing you know, it's like another week's gone by. <laughs> so um, today, Matthew and I had a an appointment with pain management over at the oncology um, building. And it was interesting because I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to be doing without ever having spoken to a pain management person. So I'm on the right meds. Um, she was explaining opioids to me because I said, oh, I'm afraid of them because they make me vomit. And she says, well, that's definitely a side effect, especially at the beginning. But if you get your body more immune to it or more used to it, then that side effect kind of goes away. And then you just have a nice little buzz. <laughs> my words, not hers. Um, anyway, um, my system is still yucky and I'm trying to stay on a schedule. Um, like I said, Matthew got me and I, the, uh, whatever it's called, <laughs> the eye watch. <laughs> um, and it's got my meds, you know, it goes off every five or six hours or whatever it is. So it's trying to keep me on schedule. And then I do feel much better when I have, when I'm right, when, when the meds don't dive down and then I've got to play catch up. <sighs> hmm. um, my spirits are decent. They're, they're fine. I'm not exercising as much as I have been because I'm trying not to lose any more weight. Um, but in the interim, I'm missing exercising a bunch. So, but I haven't got really the energy either. As we know, I've been telling you all this. I will just keep in contact with you, let you know how, how things come up, what comes up. The, um, you know, what can I say? This has been, like I said, a roller coaster. Um, I'm looking forward to the, co uh, to the um, chemo starting. I've gotten a lot of really, really lovely responses. Thank you for texts and just the love, the pouring in of love and you'll be fine without hair. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know, but now it's a for certain thing, you know, it's like, oh. and it'll take up in about a month. So if I'm week on week, you know, week one, week two, and then doctors, I get a break. And then by week three, taking a shower, <laughs> It's going to come out in clumps or something. Maybe I'll shave it before that happens. I don't know. Maybe I'd rather make sure it's going to happen. But he said it's 100%. So, whatever. You guys will have a little shocking face to look at. Can you imagine me looking like this? <laughs> hey, that's not bad. <laughs> it's if I have a tiny little head. A pin head, I call it. Uh, and I'll do the wig thing occasionally. I, mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. Depends on how secure I feel. You know, some days you feel secure, some days you don't. So uh, I think those will be the days that I'm wearing a wig. Is when I'm like, oh, I need some help. I need to look pretty. I need to be uh, confident so I can kick the heck out of this thing, which I will. <laughs> I will. It's a, it's a bully. I don't like bullies. It's It came in and it's just like freaking taking advantage of everything. Everybody in my body. Not going to allow it. Okay. Um, Indy's in bad shape still. I forgot to call the vet today. Bummer. I was going to have her uh, come out. And maybe take another x-ray just to see how much it's changed in the past. She hasn't had an x-ray for like three years since before COVID. Maybe even four years ago. But it was bad then, so I'm sure it's just going to be the same thing. Even worse now. Kind of like me. Hmm. Isn't that ironic that we'd both be in the same spot doing the same ouchy thing? Both of us needing help. Okay. I'm keeping this really short. Just wanting to say hello. Nothing new. Which is a good thing. And I'll talk to you a little bit later. I love you. I love me. Mwah! Bye, y'all. See you later.